All right, so just yesterday we made the uh, big announcement that the iHeartRadio Music Festival will be September 20th and 21st, and we announced the lineup, which is uh, pretty insane. I was with Keith Urban when we did the announcement on GMA, and uh, he looked at the list. He's like, I can't believe you guys got all those people to agree to do it, but not only agree to do it, just like coordinate their schedules. You know, just yeah. scheduling Justin Timberlake and Katy Perry and Jay Cole, Nelton, John and Muse and Tiesto and Chris Bound and Keith Urban and Miguel and Bruno Mars. And that's only not even half the list. Scheduling them alone is uh, tough, but you'll want to be there for this. We've done this the last couple of years, and it is something that uh, you've got to see. I mean, you got to do it at least once. I would say you want to do it as many times as you can. But we have booked our rooms. We've got our reservations. Uh-huh. I'll be hosting that and um, want to see you in Las Vegas. It is something very special. Another part of the announcement that we made yesterday, actually Miley blew this. She she kind of uh, let the cat out of the bag a few minutes before on television before it was officially announced, but she uh, mentioned that Adam Lambert will be performing at the iHeartRadio Music Festival with uh, Queen, and Adam is on the phone with us right now. Hello, Mr. Lambert. Hello, Mr. Seacrest. How are you? I'm stoked, buddy. You know, I wake up excited. I go to bed excited. I'm really excited. He's excited all the time. He's too excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm overly excited. How do you think um, I feel? <laughs> <laughs> about, uh, about this, though. I, I know that you, you met – I was thinking back when we were making the announcement that you were going to be there with Queen, and I recall you met them a few years ago when you performed with them on Idol, right? Yeah, that was the first time I had ever shared the stage with them. It was great. Um, Chris Allen and I sang We Are the Champions at the end of that yeah. finale. And then I got to go and, and perform with them a couple years later at the, uh, the European Music Awards by MTV. Yeah, and That was a, that was nuts. Um, we just kind of threw it together last minute. And then after that, I had the, the chance to get to perform with them in London. I did three shows with them last summer, and it was it was just such an honor to, to do a full hour and a half long set with them. Um, so this is kind of like us reprising like the best moments of that set. Now, is it was it nerve wracking for you when you first are performing with legendary guys like these guys you have, and the you band no that's been idea. doing it for so, so nervous. I can't even I'm imagine. So, so nervous at first, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I flew over to London to start rehearsals with them, and we only had 10 days scheduled for these big shows. Right. And it was a lot of material to learn, and, and I was a little bit nervous, but they, they really made me feel comfortable. They're really cool guys. Um, like Almost like, like chilling in, in, in like, uh, like a family vacation with your grandparents, almost. Like with your, right. with your cool <laughs> uncle and your cool grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they're like the cool guys that partied in the 70s, and they're telling great stories and, and also telling me all sorts of things about Freddie Mercury, who uh, obviously mm-hmm. is like an idol. So I got like an inside scoop of what it was really like, which was really cool. It's impressive, and for them to continue to ask you back is definitely a good sign. They clearly acknowledge and approve of uh, your talent and your skill. I'm just bribing um, them, actually, under the table. It's all, I, it's all you know, I'm just, it's, it's all a joke. <laughs> whatever it takes. You know, if you want to see, to like me, yeah. <laughs> if you want to see Adam and uh, Queen, tickets go on sale this Saturday, 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster, and he'll be up on stage with them and a bunch of other people. Now, when do you start working over at Glee? You know, I, I have no detail yet. I'll, all I had was, was um, a meeting with Mr. Ryan Murphy, who's incredible, and yep. we brainstormed a bit about what could possibly be my role. And so it's kind of still in development. I don't know when I start, but I'm so excited. Um, and, of course, this weekend was some really tragic news, yeah, so that might terrible. put a bit of, of a spin on things. But, um, yeah. you know, I, I hope that we can um, – all together, the cast and myself, we can, uh, you know, hopefully honor Corey's memory somehow. Um, I'm sure they'll, yeah. they'll find a, a tasteful way to do so. Adam, referring to the death of Corey Monteith uh, that everybody has been talking about. And I know that they have, have not yet said how they will acknowledge it on the show, but I'm sure they'll do something uh, just fabulous and wonderful yeah. to pay tribute to him because he, he was such a nice guy, a talented kid. Did you ever meet him or, or work you know, with him? I, I think I met him in passing once very, very, very briefly, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't get to know him better because everybody has such beautiful things to say about him. Yeah, no doubt. Well, sad story, but um, Glee will, I'm sure, 
pay tribute to Corey at the right time. Adam Lambert's going to be a cast member soon. Not a lot of detail. Meeting with Ryan Murphy, that's a good meeting to have. I think he's the one that can make things happen for you. So good luck to you with that. Thank and then you we'll so see much. You, and, uh, we'll see you in yeah, Vegas. I'm, I'm, I'm writing music like a crazy person, too, which Tell is really exciting. Tell me about exciting. it. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm like in love with rock and roll again, and I feel like there's such a change happening in the music scene, and people are playing instruments again, and um, this whole thing with Queen has been really inspiring. So I'm going to kind of revisit my rock and roll roots a little bit, the things that made me want to audition for Idol in the first place. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. that's been my inspiration. Well, dude, we look forward to hearing it. Thanks yeah, for the call, man. Cool. I appreciate it, Adam. Yeah, I'm, yeah, thank you so much. It was good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. See you soon, buddy. Thanks again. All right. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Totally talented kid. Totally talented kid. And has a good time doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, he, he's like, here's who I am. This is what I'm about, and I'm cool with it. So anyway, you'll see him in Vegas. Take us to win coming up 8 o'clock this morning.